Hello class, my name is Houston Taylor and I'm happy to be here to share a little bit about myself with you at this time. I live in southern Mississippi. It's a beautiful location here on the Gulf Coast where the climate is mostly beautiful most of the year round, as you can see on my property here. We have geese and ducks and many different types of wildlife that venture onto this property because this seven and a half acres backs up to 100 acres. And then behind that is National Forest. The sunsets are beautiful and the property is rolling hills. You can see my camper in the corner, top right corner of this picture here. I use that camper for evangelism outreach. As you can see here at a church in Tennessee that my wife and I recently visited. And we had a great time there. I was able to park my camper right behind the church itself. This is my family, uh, my mother, father, and wife, daughter, and myself having a meal together at a Mexican restaurant, one of my favorites. Unfortunately, Papa JD is no longer with us. He passed away six, eight months ago, or about a year ago then, I guess. I have two sons. One is 21 years old, Zachary here in the photos. And of course, he did graduate. And my youngest son, Nicholas, he's my outgoing one. As you can tell, he also graduated and he is 18 years old. I did meet my wife in the Philippines while I was building a church in 2012, 2013. She is the woman of my dream. She was my interpreter there, Filipina. And uh, she is 20 years younger than me, but I've never been happier in all my life. We have a wonderful marriage together. We had some big ceremonies, huge betrothals, and this is my family and I during our wedding ceremony up in the mountains, Blairsville, Georgia, beautiful location. Here we are at a park. You can tell my wife and I do much together everywhere. She is literally my right hand. And she produced this beautiful daughter we have together. As you can see here in the picture, her name is Hannah Maranatha Taylor. This again is my wife and we have lots of fun sitting on our back porch looking over the property with my, over the years. Uh, she does catch me at some awkward moments with her picture taken. As you can see, I'm eating at our church. My wife and daughter both love arts and crafts, and they're constantly painting even each other, as you can see here in the picture. My daughter loves to bake and make things. She is in the third grade at seven years old, and she is an honor graduate. My wife and I share a beautiful life together. Everywhere we go, we're very happy. Our daughter is happy. and. I couldn't ask for a better home. Uh, in all my life, God has blessed me with a beautiful, godly lady. And we share some beautiful memories together over these years, 10 years. Uh, <clears throat> church construction finally came to an end. I have to tell you, uh, part of my hobbies is building and growing churches. And uh, one of our one of our uh, biggest construction projects is uh, just finished and uh, we opened up Lakeview Seventh-day Baptist Church where we uh, have a 5,000 square foot facility together. And uh, this is my wife, daughter and myself in front of our new sign that's going to be posted out front. Here's some of our church family sharing a meal together. We like to all get together and go out to eat from time to time. Uh, mainly salads, in case you're wondering. Uh, we do eat a little meat here and there. 
I serve at many different capacities at our church. I'm the janitor, the maintenance guy, the pastor, the evangelist, the apologist. But one of my favorite positions is serving the food. And one of my favorite places is in front of the popcorn machine, as you can tell. Uh, one of my favorite purchases recently. I did build our church. I have 36 years in construction. Uh, I am a state builder, master mechanical contractor, master electrical contractor. And I did take on our church project from ground up, 5,000 square foot. I did all the electrical, the framing, the landscaping, uh, the parking lot, you name it. We did it. Drainage. We covered the whole thing. It took me approximately four years with helpers to build our 5,000 square foot facility. But it turned out to be a beautiful location on these rolling hills up on our seven and a half acres. And uh, God has blessed us tremendously uh, with the finances to be able to pay for this church as we progressed over that four year period. And I couldn't ask for a better or happier location. Uh, we share uh, a lot of richness here as the seven day Baptist community uh, and hope to grow it as well along the Mississippi Gulf Coast area. We still have a lot of outreach to do. I designed the decks and porches and drive under and the whole works that you see here in this photo uh, just right after sunset. Uh, degrees. Uh, about four years ago, I went back to college, Liberty University, and I have no regrets. And uh, I did it because my wife joined Liberty. And uh, and over these four years, I graduated not with one bachelor degree, but with five bachelor degrees. It seemed like I couldn't get enough and I maximized what I could do in this four year period. I did get five bachelor degrees of science and religion, biblical and theological studies, apologetics, global studies, Christian leadership, uh, evangelism, and I have a minor in Christian uh, ministries only because Liberty wouldn't let me have six bachelor degrees. But that's okay. I think somewhere somebody's got to draw the line and produce a limit. So these are the degrees I have earned recently that were conferred in December in these photos. I have no regrets. It's been a wonderful uh, time here at Liberty. Currently, I'm enrolled in the Master of Arts of Pastoral Counseling and Community Chaplaincy. Uh, it's a decision I don't regret, and I'm looking forward to completing that. Although I did put off the master degree that I really desired the most, which was Master of Arts in Christian Apologetics, but I will follow up with that master's degree. I'm a little torn at this time between three different doctorate degrees. Uh, the three doctorate degrees that I'm torn between is evangelism and uh, church planning, uh, doctor of ministry in uh, pastoral counseling is a new degree that I'm currently looking into, or the doctorate of ministry in uh, theology and apologetics. I have a, a real heart for apologetics. Uh, I'm only intending to do one doctor of ministry, even though I'm going to follow with those two ba two master degrees currently, uh, which may take me a couple of years from here. I would like to thank you all for following me through this uh, short video clip. You know, there's much more that I could discuss, but due to the limitations of this discussion board, I will save those discussions for a future time uh, as we make friendships and uh, or develop our friendships over the course or courses, depending on what other pursuits you may be in. I'm happy to be here serving with you, hopefully learning and growing together. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited about this master's degree in pastoral counseling and community chaplaincy. 
Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go with this, but I am looking into uh, growing the chaplaincy side, getting licensed as a counselor, and uh, pursuing the four units in the, the pastoral clinical education, uh, which I'm currently discussing with advisors at Liberty. Anyway, happy to be here with you all. May God bless you as we grow and learn together, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you all much better. Blessings to each of you, and see you soon.